Hey there, in this tutorial, we'll be working on a crossfade transition. So this is what we'll have by the end of the video. We'll be using surfaces for this effect. So there's the application surface where the game is drawn. And we'll create our own surface called surf. So this surface will be used for the transition. We'll create the surface when we wanna start the transition. So we'll copy application surface into surf. This way we'll get a snapshot of the current room. And then we change the room and there draw the snapshot. And we are gonna keep fading the snapshot until it disappears. So this is basically how the crossfade will work. And now we'll start working on it. This is the same project where we created a color fade in the previous video. So this is what we created last time. You can watch that video from here. Now we're gonna go into objects and create a new one. I'll name this O Crossfade. So previously we used O Fade and for this video we're gonna use O Crossfade. Now in the object we're gonna come down here and mark it as persistent. This way it won't get destroyed when the room changes. And now here in the events we'll add the create event. And in the event, we'll add this. Here we have the duration of the fade. So by default, it'll be 60 steps long. Then we have the timer. It goes from zero to duration. And this is the alpha of the surface. So it goes from one to zero. This way it fades away. Now here we are creating our surface. But first, we need to get the size of the application surface. So here we get the width. For that, we use this function. And then we get the height using this function. Then here we create our surface. So in surface create, we pass in the width and the height. And the ID of the surface is stored in this variable. So now we're gonna copy the application surface into our surface. So here we run the surface copy function. So here we have the surface where we are copying the other surface. And these are the x and y coordinates where the surface will be pasted. So we are setting these to 0 and 0. And this is the surface that will be copied. So with this we are copying the application surface into surf. Now we are gonna go back into events and here add the step event. In the event, we'll add this. Here we are simply adding 1 to the timer value. So it starts at 0 and keeps going up. The timer will be over when it reaches the value of the duration. And that's what we are checking in this condition. So it checks if the timer is at or above duration. If it is, we are gonna end the fade. So here we delete our surface. First we check if the surface exists. We need this condition because surfaces can get destroyed automatically. So if it does exist, we destroy it using this function. And then we destroy the instance. Now here we are setting the alpha of the surface. So let me explain what we are doing here. Here we are dividing the timer by the duration. So when the timer is 0, we get 0 from this. And when the timer is at duration, we get 1. So this way, the alpha goes from 0 to 1. But we want it to go from 1 to 0. So we simply invert the value by subtracting it from 1. This way, the alpha goes from 1 to 0. And now we need to draw the surface. So I'm gonna add an event, go under draw and add draw GUI begin. With this event, the surface will be drawn on the GUI layer. And we chose the begin event so that it draws before other GUI elements. So let's add this in the event. Now here we are checking if the surface exists. So if it does, we are gonna draw it. But the size of the GUI layer and the surface might be different depending on how your game is set up. So we'll be stretching the surface to fit the GUI layer. For that, we need to get the size of the GUI layer. So that's what we are doing here. 
So here we get the width of the GUI layer and here the height. And then here we draw the surface using this function. So here we pass in the surface and the x and y position where it will be drawn. So it will be drawn simply at 0 by 0. Now this is the size at which we want to draw the surface. So the surface will be stretched to fit this size. Then here we have the color which is set to minus 1. It's the same as writing C white. Then here we have the alpha which is simply set to the alpha variable. And now we're gonna create a script for starting the crossfade. So we're gonna go into scripts and here create a new one. Let's name it crossfade to room. So this one was used for the previous fade. And this one will be used for the crossfade. And now we're gonna go into the script window and here add some code. Now here we have the required arguments for the script. First we have the room where we wanna go. And then we have the duration of the crossfade. So here we get the arguments and store them in these variables. Then here we create an instance of our crossfade. For this we use instance create depth. Here the x, y and the depth are simply zero. And this is the object that we are creating. Then the id of the new instance is stored in this variable. We can use it to set variables in the instance. So here we are setting the duration variable in the instance. We set it to the duration we got from the arguments. So here the crossfade instance will be created and with it the surface. And then here the room will change. So now we can use this script to start the crossfade. For that I'm gonna open O controller. Now here in the step event we have this from the previous video. Here we check if the space key was pressed. So we wanna start the crossfade when we press space. Then here we make sure that an instance of our fade doesn't already exist. In that case we come here where we set the target room to room 1. But if we are already in room 1, then we set the target room to room 0. And then here we run the fade to room script. So now we're gonna replace this with the crossfade. First we're gonna change this from O fade to O crossfade. And then I'm gonna come down here and comment out this line by hitting Ctrl K. After this I'm gonna call the crossfade to room script. In the first argument I'm gonna pass in the target room. And for the duration I'll pass in 60. So now we can run the game and test it out. I'll press space and here we have the crossfade. So what you see fading there is only a surface. Now here you can modify the duration. So I'll change it to 10. And now you can see that the fade is much faster. So that's it for the video. I have many more tutorials on my channel. So you can check them out here or here. And I'm always making more, so make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.